supreme Kithrak. Has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. Skakek Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. If they have not said, they must have good reason, and I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally, protects you with their power. That very power will be the end of Vlakith's tyranny. The Prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the Prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel, together we will break our chains and be Vlakith slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me, and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel. Every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify. It extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness! You flood me with this... this heresy! I... I will hear no more of it. I served Vlacketh the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you. Sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazel. So we're going to meet Voss in the city, are we? Set the tenant of the prison free? This is all very, uh... I don't know. I like a good caper, but I'd long for a tiny bit of status quo now and again. What will Voss have to show for himself when we catch up with him, I wonder? His intelligence may yet prove the key to unlocking the artifact's secrets. We shall ensure we follow up when we reach Baldur's Gate. I didn't expect Lazelle to turn on the Lich Queen so readily. 
Wonders never cease. Vlakith costs seven Hroth Krashet. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the ten thousand protocols stem. Forsake one protocol, and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith, and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if Tadpole Purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Ascension is a young Githyanki's greatest honor. Long ago, the Geich enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Geich and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of Ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. Or so I believed. I'd never thought Vlakith a tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Vos believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Yes, I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Vos at Charesis Caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us.